Okay, so we have another uh, kind of counseling session here. Let me just quickly share the details. Now, now basically the participant, now, now the candidate is like a network engineer having roughly around two plus years of experience uh, in between 2019 to 2020, right? That's a kind of, uh, this is more kind of a network side experience where you have the CCN and CCNP kind of skills uh, based on that. The, the experience is based in India, I think. That's what uh, I think what I understood from your profile. Now, currently you are doing your master's that's uh, in the MSc in cybersecurity. Probably the first semester is completed. Three more semesters are pending. So probably you want to get job ready before that. That's a kind of, and the background education, like you have completed the bachelor in computer science along with the CCNS, CCNP trainings. Uh, probably a little bit out of subject. That's what I assume you are right now in that. Now, now what, what exactly the main goal of the counseling session is to enhance the skills and obviously uh, try to want to understand which type of the skills uh, basically or where exactly to go. What is the suitable profile to go with? So as per your friend's suggestion, some are saying kind of protocol testing, some security side, basically what now, the first thing I would like to uh, tell that now, now, the first thing we need to decide on uh, which profile you exactly want to go. Now, whatever the profile you want to choose, that basically depends on uh, multiple factors like the education background that has to a little bit link with the education background. That's the first thing. And the second thing is also it has to a little bit link with the previous experience that also probably help you, like help you with that. Like, let's say if you have a kind of network experience as per this, so probably moving on with a network and with some network security add-on, or probably you can move on to the cyber security, that's what it is. So considering these things, because uh, because your education background, like the main reason, like you have chosen the MSc in cyber security, that is basically kind of academics, what is the expertise. So probably you will learn a lot of things in the master's. Uh, parallelly, you need to add some uh, kind of courses which give a more practical exposure to the real-time kind of things. Because most of the academics, what you learn, uh, especially in India or anywhere, so most of the academics are more theoretical based, very less practical oriented unless you have uh, very good institutions where they give some practical kind of projects. But most of them are kind of, and even, you know, the projects, most of the people I've seen, they do masters or bachelors in us or uk wherever it is probably they they also copy the projects from somewhere else and then get it done by someone else that's where again the challenges comes so uh, basically as per my uh, knowledge what you have to do is you just need to go on with the cyber security that's the thing of course you have to update the ccn and ccn skills that's the first thing because uh, for all these things, whether you're going for network security or cyber security, the networking skills plays an important role, which means you need to have the networking skills, like the minimum, the CCNA networking knowledge, that's a kind of thing, if you're going for a cyber security domain. And additionally, you need to have some kind of a Linux, uh, kind of operating system knowledge, Linux or Microsoft, because most of the cyber security tools are using the specific Linux versions. So you need to have some kind of operating system knowledge, especially the Linux, uh, Linux one, or if you can add some other server kind of knowledge, that's something good, but not come mandatory, like any Microsoft server or Linux server kind of skill set. And uh, the additional things like you, you, you need to have some kind of programming skills. Huh? So a little bit on programming skills, you don't need to be an expert on the programming skills because most of the time the cybersecurity uh, kind of working professionals, they, they might be using some kind of inbuilt tools. And of course, you need to have a proper mentor uh, into that. that. That's something important because when you're going for cybersecurity, you need to have a proper mentor who can who is already into this profile and who is already working into this profile properly. That will be the right person to guide you with that. So that's something we can uh, help you out with the connecting them. That's the thing. So uh, basically the plan for you is to start up with revising the CCNA CC level, level skills. That's something what I suggest initially because you have already uh, done some uh, trainings on this. 
either you can use our training videos to quickly revise if you can manage it or else if you want a little bit more focused on a time to time schedule you can also offer any kind of online classes so that's the first thing and the second thing you need to go on with the security stuff because once you're into cyber security probably you need to add some kind of firewall skills like uh, FortiGate firewall and then there will be a different levels of training like CISSP you know there are different training programs you need to add uh, once you started getting into it okay so some firewall skills probably can add some firewall skills uh, and then add some cyber security skills uh, because now you know, the firewall skills comes under network security and then kind of cyber security skills because the expertise goes on cyber security but you will have a different level of skill set which will automatically help you to land into a better job. Because let's say if you don't, uh, because like I said, the basic networking skills are important, uh, at least the CCNA level kind of skill set. Of course, when you're doing masters, you do learn some kind of programming skills as well in that, uh, because these all come. So you need to focus on a little bit more on this, this skill set. Uh, and then CCNA level skill set, as you have already done NP level training, I recommend you to revise at the NP level network side, because this will help you to get into a network side job, at least to start up as an initially, once you finish with your education background. And probably if you had any one or two firewall skill set, uh, this will help you to land into a network security role. Uh, this kind of role. So this kind of, this, this first one will help, help you to get into the network uh, kind of role based on your previous experience this is something kind of an immediate opportunity you can get into if you have this the second thing uh, the better option is if you can add a network security role that is more better than the first one and of course the third is a uh, better than the previous one so if you have a good cyber security skills let's say with some uh, one or two firewalls like normally forticate or asa different firewalls skills you can add any one or two firewalls will be sufficient because you need to understand that cyber uh, uh, firewall network security as well, apart from network. So these are the three level of skill set you can acquire and expertise. Now, why I'm saying three skills? Because now many people, you know, they, they just say focus on cyber security. Uh, but as per your uh, profile, as you already been a network side job in India uh, back in 2020, and already you have you have the skills but you don't remember the subject because it's been two, three years, you are into not into it. But this will help you to land into a job and then probably these three different levels you can say. Just like you have the code, right? You know, you, you try to uh, go for the best, but in case, uh, in the worst cases, if you are not good at it or if you are not able to manage this, then at least you can land into this, this kind of role that will again kickstart your career. And even if you cannot into this, then still there is an option on this level. So you have the, you get the three different levels of uh, skill set where you can uh, move on. Maybe in the future, like I'm not saying that maybe you get into a job of this for a meantime, let's say once you finish your semester, but that doesn't mean that that ends there. So at least you start up on this and slowly you can work on these two things as well, where you can realize where you missed out. But if you really focus on these things, like considering your master's and considering, you know, uh, your experience a little bit on network side, probably this is something where definitely you have to land. If you are unable to land means that's where you, uh, you might have to work out on these things. And the other thing, like I said, you need to have a, a kind of a mentor who is already working on a cyber security. And the other thing, you need to have some kind of engineer's contacts probably. If you can figure out some uh, close contacts who are already working on network side or cyber security side, based in UK specifically, if you are, then that will also help you to understand the local market over there, the, the job options and how we can apply for the jobs and how the contracts works. All these kind of things that will also help you. So you will find uh, definitely people on social media platforms like you need to start connecting with this kind of people on LinkedIn or get into some Facebook groups, which a little bit focused on specific regions like UK and cybersecurity groups. So you need to keep uh, in touch on these groups where you can interact uh, different uh, similar kind of profile people and you can gain some skills. In. That's something you need to follow. So these are uh, the sum up of the things what I would like to suggest on this counseling session. 
So we'll quickly see if they, if you have any questions, probably we'll try to add. But considering this is something what I uh, really suggest for you, uh, considering your profile, 